Hey everyone, Dave here, and today we're checking out the Curse of the Serpent Lord update to Dimia. It's kind of been a while that I've been playing this. Essentially, in its place, Zenith took a role of my most played game of the year, besides just the recording stuff. I suppose after changing the level cap and just expanding it so much further with a lot of XP needed to reach the end, kinda discouraged me from grinding, but I'm still very much enjoying it, and today we have some new stuff, so let's check it out. So, Curse of the Serpent Lord introduces usual a new adventure and surprise surprise a new class to the game. Oana the Warlock is in short summary kinda like a summoner her main gameplay revolves around the ocelot pet and that's gonna be like the main thing you have like fifth player on the board. Most of her mechanics will revolve all around AI which sometimes in Dimio could be questionable. Apparently will have more power over what this companion does but it will be interesting to see how the developers manage to handle her mechanics. From what I also understood the ocelot will have like a leveling system. That's like new and very fresh to me. Now it really introduces the RPG element. <laughs> I suppose it's gonna be something along the lines where you'd put strength potions and speed potions on the players, but here the Ocelot will like grow in power over time. I wonder also what's gonna be like the limit, because I know people will test it and could it be the strongest thing in the board even including the actual players and their capabilities? Warlock by definition in RPGs have multiple summonings. That could be very nice if we could switch which things around with like different animals and different tactics according to what's going on. I'm just throwing it out here but overall it seems very exciting and let's go back to Dimia. Do we go and try out the new stuff in the multiplayer right away? Let me see maybe quick stats and just the entry cards you get in the beginning and then play with other people. It just seems less chaotic than usual. So here she is, her base card is like a projectile that deals one damage and then instructs Kana what to do. So I'm assuming it's essentially two damage at the same time. Movement is 20. Oh, that's crazy. So it doesn't matter where you are. It's gonna just do what you want. <laughs> Feral charge seems to be like a charge from the guardian. A flurry of projectiles. Oh, like a multiple hit spell. That's new. Her stats are, I think, exactly the same as the sorcerer. So why can't we open the chest in the main menu? Water flask. Drink to heal or throw it to drench a target on the ground. Do we lose life over time because we were in the desert? Guess it's like a unique mechanic, just like in the realm of the Rat King with the torch. And then we have an XP bar above her name with a status. Fair enough, it seems clear to me. Hi! Hi! Is this your first time playing this map? Well, it just dropped. <laughs> so, you didn't get to see, um, in the beginning, there was... A chest. A chest you could grab, <laughs> yes. Because I was looking at the base spells and stuff like that just to have an overview. The volume is very low for me for some reason. Yeah. I'm no, not sure if it's specific it. because I'm playing on the Rift version. No, no, you you sound good, but the... The game. The, the game, yeah. Ooh. What's this corruption? I'm very interested about this XP bar because this pet like levels up, which is new. I don't see an XP bar. Oh shit! Oh, I didn't even see your pet! Oh, <laughs> well she's not alone, that's for sure. <laughs> Whoa, what? Oh, okay. A rage. So I um, I hit one of these sand piles and it turns it into something else. Just take you. Wait, like what? <laughs> you want to see it? Well, <laughs> if you want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is you know this is you. Okay, well. It turns them into <laughs> stuff. <laughs> but I didn't know it was stuff because another, a different version, a different thing came out of the last sand pile. Hmm. Heed my call. This pet has insane movement. Like, you can attack anywhere and it's gonna just go there. That's cool. It's like an upgraded sorcerer. She has only 5 HP, which is not a lot. Considering, like, you know. The wolf has 10, and I'm not sure if you can revive him. I like how the key looks. Yeah. 
It won't fit to anything else, that's for sure. Come, Kana. Unleash your wrath. Ah, Two hits. she drains the HP of the target I mark. That makes sense now. What the fuck? It hit me twice, little shit. What? <laughs> oh, so it could be gold. Uh oh. How about some poison? Let's see what comes out. I wonder what's the oh more gold percentage. What do you mean the percentage? Like the. Chance of appearing gold instead of the enemy. You are 60, that's a lot for Dimio. Like, I remember when I was grinding up until 40 because one match would grant like one level, but now, like, it's tripled the requirement. Mm -hmm. I can tell a lot of people are playing right now because I'm very laggy. In VR games, it's always good if there are actually people to play. Nice, dude. I'm putting those crits today. Okay. Level up. She grew one damage up and That's two HP, fun. but when I pick it up, the model's the same as before. <laughs> now, the wizard, I also, I think, got two new cards. I think the lightning was changed yeah, now. He gets to, he gets to overcharge his zap. I need someone to land in the corruption silver to see what happens. I saw the enemy kind of like, I don't know, drained it or something, and then it had a status that it can cause confusion, like a rage that you would attack randomly. I know you and I saw <laughs> that together. What's the warlock like? It's. She's beautiful. <laughs> I would say she is really good at uh, soloing, like, the hunter for me was good, but she seems to be the best so far. Because you can literally drain XP from anything and it doesn't need a lot. I thought that I might be able to overcharge and then immediately throw uh, a zap, but apparently you have to wait a turn before you can throw it. It's called a lightning bolt. Okay, there is a cooldown like that. Basically, hitting them as if they're wet. Yeah. Oh, Berserk. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Can one shot her? <laughs> Kana's dead. I mean, it's a good test because we'll see how to revive it. Read the guided light for me. It's someone a bright orb that shows the way forward, but. What way? Oh, okay, wait, it show response in two. Wait. The corruption sliver. Where's the second the corruption Kana? Corruption sliver. The she, corruption you were paying attention, she two. died. But she'll respawn in, she'll respond in two. Okay, so that's fine. I also wonder, um, I mean, we'll see. When the Kana responds, does the XP reset? I'm sure the HP uh, responds. HP, yeah, but I, I wonder about the XP. Wait, what was that? The scroll of lightning. But, like, what? Like, like, chain arrow? It's well, called the scroll that, of lightning. Is, is that a unique ranger thing, or is that a... Something I don't that know, every, I, got character a, got? I got it as a card out of one of the boxes. Oh, that's an anyone thing. It's new either way, no? Uh, so I have this. Is it just a free vision? Who goes there? It's, yeah. There's so much, like, statuses now. When you look at the objects and immunities. <laughs> Every patch introduces one. Whoa! It corrupted Kana! Kana just hit her! Is this rage? Yeah, unprovoked aggression. Oh, cool! Your lamp does move. Yeah. 
But I wonder like what's the <laughs> mechanics of it? Does it move randomly or? She can do some solid DPS, like she can cast this twice, which is 6 damage a turn, Kana attacks after her anyways. That's like 8. Alright, so I have a question and that is, if I shoot this with a bolt of lightning, will it jump to you? Or will it just try to jump to something else? Let's find out. Yeah, just, just cast it. <laughs> it shouldn't, but... Okay. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> Get away from me, Kana! She has huge movement either way, so she can attack anyone. Whoa! Whoa! Turret spawning. I'm just not good. <laughs> wow, that's so interesting. I wonder if it's more capable of the ballista. <laughs> Hey, no! <laughs> <laughs> ow. Is it better to kill this this Kana now? <laughs> I don't think you can kill Kana. Oh no. Oh well, I'm trapped in my own, own death trap. <laughs> I guess well, we can no. leave, huh? Yeah, let's leave! We have a thousand fucking gold! Okay. Do you see this? I have a card called Luck Potion, which essentially you get a crit on a roll. <laughs> what is this magical potion? Increases magical damage by plus one. Okay, so it's the opposite of the strength yeah, one. For me. Yeah. So strength increases the uh, damage of arrows and melee attacks, but magical potion increases the power for magical characters like the warlock and the sorcerer. Also, I thought uh, before, like you could increase the damage of the bolt through the strength portion, but I think they changed that. Good luck with the patch, guys. <laughs> well, the Warlock is super fun. I'm still like a little bit confused about this audio. You can't do anything about it and I'm not gonna change it in the editing process. Guess the devs wanted you to hear loud and clear the players. <laughs> really like this patch. I need to do the research on the new cards because there seems to be some stuff changed. I feel like the new class can be a little bit OP. If you stay in the first stage long enough and farm Kana, then you're gonna have an easy time later on. Now you actually have a reason to stay because usually you would just go as fast as possible, collect all the gold and just go next. Now there's an actual benefit to staying because the stronger monsters don't spawn yet. I guess Warlock is kind of similar to Hunter, just you have a permanent pet instead and it's pretty fun so very glad that this patch dropped and I'm looking forward to playing more of it.